It's not Wednesday, it's not Thursday, it's not Friday. It's Tuesday. Welcome to Steampunk Tuesday. I'm Ian. And this is Mike. I've had a sheet on my head since last week, so I don't know what day it is. It just takes a sheet off when it's Tuesday. Like a parrot in a cage. It's the only way to keep me quiet. Mm. So what are we doing today? We have a superb project today called the Clockwork Garden. So what are they? The Clockwork Garden is a handmade journal. Not just one, but two. Very weighty tomes they are too. They are indeed. So, shall we get on and show people what you've done? I think we ought. So, these are the weighty tomes we were talking about. The new Clockwork Garden. Very pretty. It is. Combinations of steampunk, because you've got cogs and you've got gears and, and you've clock. got clocks and keys, but also Beautiful florals, birds, and butterflies. Flutterbys. Absolute fantastic combination. And I love the colours that you've chosen for the outer covers and also for the colours for the illustrations on the inside because they just match beautifully. Well, they, they, have, they are available in red or green. I've done two different colours. Red ones and green, green ones. ones. The red is the beautiful, we call it dispatch box red box red mm -hmm. but it also ties in with the red of the logo and as Mike said the red of the logo and the green of the logo is carried all the way through in the illustrations because the theme of the colours goes right the way through the books. And the green is caught also from the illustrations, the, the, the leaves and that kind of stuff. It is. So it all ties in beautifully. We've also got, I'll talk you through this one and then we're actually going to put all the ephemera into this one. This one is complete, this one is finished. That's got everything in. That's got everything in it. <laughs> so jam packed. Jam packed. So we'll start. We've got nice. The corners are different on these. Mm -hmm. These are much more. I like to think of a slightly more industrial, but very decorative as well. Plain but decorative with the, the swooping shapes of them. Very robust. Yes, and it goes well with the theme of the um, clockwork garden. It does. Um, the papers in. I will get to the papers in a second. The paper. I'll put that to one side. The papers in these are. Can you give you that, please? Okay, Thank okay. you. Don't put that safe down here. If you would, please. Yeah. Um, don't talk about the spine. And I'm so sorry. Yep, yeah, the spine has got a. Um, is it a file? Do we call it a file? Book plate or a, book. a label? Label plate. Label plate. Yes. This one's got the, got the butterflies in with the little clockwork. But there's still room for you to write something oh, yeah. on it. Yeah, you like, can... like your name or, or a date or whatever. And if you don't want it, push it and turn it round. It's actually a craft card on the back. Oh, excellent stuff. So. Detachable. Detachable. So. Let's open this one up. So, look how pretty that is. I know, beautiful. Love these cogs. I love these birdies. Tell ladies and gents what you said. You think it's the best thing I've ever made? I think it's, um, as a collection, mm. I think what you've done with the journaling cards, with the, the tags, with the, um, the bookmarks, and with the design of the pages, I think this is the nicest journal that you've done so far. Well, Mum saw it yesterday, didn't she? She went through it page by page, page. She? She stroking the pages. Yeah, she literally sat and went through it. And our friend Linda, who's already seen the illustrations, hi Linda, went nuts. Yes, she, did. <laughs> she did. Yeah. So she, she's already got her order in for a, a set of the Digi downloads, which we'll talk about later because yeah. that's going to be next week's project. Yeah. So we have a little birdie in there. I think it's a finch with the butterflies mm -hmm. and all the florals. Well, can we just have a, spend a little bit of time just looking at the illustrations? Here? Yeah. Because what you've got, like I said before, you've got cogs. There's also gears, there's chains in there, there's feathers, there's keys, there's also bead drops. And they're all done in a, in a beautiful kind of watercolour. Um, obviously the, the birds that are in there as well. And you've matched up butterflies. So yeah. there's some butterflies in the illustration, but you've also added extra butterflies in there. Oh you? yes, we're, 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 butterfly, we're in butterfly overload, if yeah. you could ever have that. And you've also added in bits behind the illustration yeah, to, to make it all tie we've in. We've got like this, this deal. Uh, writing script behind the old postmark from Paris. Yeah, I and mean, then we've got dog roses, we've got hydrangea flowers, there's beautiful butterflies, you've got all sorts of different um, things. You can actually sit and just look at these illustrations and find something new every time you well, look my, at them. My mum, Mike's mum, mum, was going through it all. She said there's carnations, there's yeah. all sorts of different things, the beads and the flowers the and feathers. the feathers. So, yeah, so that's, that's just the inside front cover. <laughs> the reason there's no pocket in there is it's a shame to cover it. Yeah. I just wanted it to have a real wow effect when you saw it. Yeah, which it does. Which it does. The first pocket is on the inside of the uh, tray. Mm-hmm. It's a 
clock. Clock again, yeah. yeah. The different papers, all the papers are parchment. Mm -hmm. They've all been in the oven, I've wet them all, dried them all. So they're all wrinkly? They are. Crinkly wrinkly. Crinkly wrinkly, just let me. So, number of pages? Number of pages, there are, there are 50 pages, 100 leaves, 200 sides. Right. So if you were to write on each side... It's 200. There are 200. So two in, 200 individual pages... To write on. So there's 100 leaves. Yeah. Right, so yeah. But there's five signatures, so you do the math. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some with lines, some with... I don't call it graph paper, it's more like a, a checked... Grid. A grid paper. Yeah. And there are some with a plane with a frame round. We'll see as we go through. Mm. Um, what we're going to do... I've, the other one is finished completely, but... I'm just going to put, this is finished, so I've put all the pockets in, I'm just going to start putting in the ephemera. Right, so you're actually going to show people, you know, putting the ephemera yeah, in. Yeah. So why don't we talk through one signature yeah. so people can see all the pages and the different designs in one of the signatures, because it is repeated through the other signatures. The signatures it? are, but all the ephemera is different. Yeah, so if we talk through the first set of signatures, yeah. then you can start putting yeah. in the ephemera. That's a good idea. Go back and start putting in the ephemera. So we have, it. the first page is beautiful, it's got the keys, it's got rivets on it. Yeah. It's got a drop. Yeah. That's one, that's the collecting memories. Yes. I mean, that's obviously, that's the other side of the paper. We have Trust Your Heart. I love this. It's got some kind of... It's almost like a steampunk dream catcher. It is. Isn't it? It is. I love the birdie. The birdie is so sweet in the corners. Yeah, absolutely. Adorable. And then we have the Imagine. This is the, one of the, uh, what do you call it again? Grid paper. Grid paper. Mm -hmm. That's Perfect got, for bullet journaling. It's got one of the little pockets in it. Mm -hmm. The pocket, I mean, the pocket on its own has got one, two butterflies, three butterflies, a clock, two cogs, three, three four cogs, <laughs> dog rose. Chain. Chain. It's got mm -hmm. everything on it. Yeah. But they're so intricate as you go through. I mean, the, the, the chains are echoed in there with a little picture yeah. there. Yeah. It's... It's very steampunk, but it's also kind of delicate. But I wouldn't have said it was too feminine. No, no. I mean, if you gave this <clears> to um, gave this to a man um, who was a keen gardener, oh, I'd love it. Absolutely, it, it's just amazing. So we have the key here, amazing. The clock face, <laughs> the white dog rose again, the finch, and the big cog on the corner. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room to write in or put photos on. Then we have the perfect moment. I yeah. think this is really pretty with a little butterfly flying up here. The pages uh, are decorative, but they're not over the top. No, plenty, functional. plenty of places to write, stick photos, memories, mm. you know, make lists, all that kind of stuff. I love this, explore your dreams. And I love the way you've, you've mirrored the colours of the illustrations, but also the colours of the actual covers of the books yes, in there within as well. there. So the red becomes a, a delicate pink and Absolutely. the green becomes a like a sage. Yeah. We have the that's the script up the side mm -hmm. with the, 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 the flowers top. And I like bottom. the way that you've mirrored the top and the bottom but just yeah. made that one smaller a little bit. I know it defies gravity with the chain being upside down but it is it is it just looks like the a clockwork frame. garden. It looks like a frame. <laughs> have a little pocket in there. Mm -hmm. Little butterflies flying up the grid paper ideas. What's good about this is if you want to put put another pocket in, it covers beautifully. So, yeah, you could put pockets in of your own. Well, you could customize it. Yes. You? Notes just for you. We have the drop there with the clock and mm -hmm. the, the roses. Again, if you wanted to use this for um, for journal, well, for art journaling in as well. I mean, mm. you could quite easily just put a little coat of either um, white gesso because that illustration would still it show would, yeah. through and would create a real nice underlayer. It would. And then you could add to it. A little pocket there with the butterflies on again. Mm -hmm. It's so very rich and it's layered. You know, the I think so. Spot. I like the way that you've mirrored the colours of the butterflies with what's actually in there because there was a blue butterfly in the previous one. Yeah. There was also like bits of blue in the feather as yes, well. Yes. Yes. So we're coming back through the same the same um, signature. But the other side. But the other side. Yeah. The other side. Other side. And then we'll start putting all the. I mean, he's lovely. Yeah. But you'll see the pockets are different. Not all the pockets are the same. Yeah. I wanted to keep it fresh and keep it a little bit different. Which it is. I think it's like I said before. It's it's delicate without being too feminine. Yeah. It but is. It, it, it can be feminine because of all the flowers and stuff. Like you've got the birds in there. So that's the first, right? So we'll go back. And we'll start putting in. Okay. So each signature. Yep. We have 
four journaling squares to go mm -hmm. in, all different. Of course, I was going to say, show the backs because each one's got different butterflies, one, different butterflies on. on the backs. We're now prettier there. So that's four journaling cards for each signature. Yeah, hang on, four journaling cards, two tags. Again, you can journal on the back because they've got the lines. With the flutterbys again. Yeah. And two of the very tall bookmarks. Black like bookmarks. Black like bookmarks, but of course. Perfect for writing lists. But I mean, how pretty. Yeah. Are they together? Just as a collection. But what gets me is it's that's not what's going in the entire book. You're getting that five times. Yeah. Plus, there's a little surprise at the end. I'll show you that I've made some little bits to go in that I've never made before. Yeah. But you've also got. I mean, you've, you've got your tuck spots already glued in. Yeah. So yeah. you've got all those tuck spots. You've got all those journaling cards. You've got all those tags. You've got all those. Oh. The, the tall bookmark. And that's just in one signature. So that's repeated five times. It is. So you've actually got 20 journaling cards. Yes, you have. And you've yeah. got 10 of the tags. And, and 10 of ten. the tall cards. Plus you've got all those fabulous little mini pockets that yep. you've done. These pockets, the tuck spots. Yep. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder this is bursting practically at the seams. <laughs> I mean, look at that. I mean, it's, they're so pretty. So we'll start here. What gets me is you've done this in a week. Yes. <laughs> well, a week and a half. I yeah. was, was thinking about it last week when I... Mm. So I put that... Hope is never lost. That's really pretty again. I just you can always tell when Ian's really interested in something because he's, he's so focused and just works and works and works at it. Don't yeah, it? I do, yeah. So the way I'm doing it, I'm going to put um, a card and then a tag in. I like to vary them as I go in through the signature, but if you take them all out, put them how you want. Yeah. There's no right can, and no wrong. You can team them up however you want to. I mean, look. I know. How pretty. Very pretty. And then we've got the, the text behind, the old postmark from France, mm -hmm. Cartier Postal, and then we've got the... Everything's... All this has been um, aged, but it's aged with... Antique linen. Antique this linen, not vintage photo. Yeah, so it is a bit more delicate. It's a much more of a more delicate feel to the edges. So it's a lighter grunge and a lighter distress yes, than a vintage photo. It is. So okay. this has to be my favourite. Yeah, I like that. When you have a look closely at the, the word dreams, you notice that the the other lettering has almost like circuit board, but it's not, it's engraved. Mm. Almost like old money. So that one goes into just care. Let's see, I've got the butterflies on again. The theme of the butterflies is never tiring. It's always pretty. Yeah. And we'll put. I think there's only a few people out there that don't like butterflies. The per that there are people that don't, but there are few and far between. And again, I love the way that it's mirrored. When you've done your hole, your finger grab hole, yeah. you've mirrored that in the in the illustration as well. So. So you can, it's it's the the the. the sentiment or the legend if you like just disappears and you don't know what's in there till you open it yeah but you can see that illustration coming through but again you've got you can mirror the clock theme yeah so we have that again. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that in there this time that one, that one. live this life nice and as you say again you've got the clocks you've got little hanging gems on there you could go to town with glossy accents on it if you wanted. Yes. And decorate with gems, put pearls on yeah, and yeah. diamante. This is a really nice collection, this one. It's up birdie and birdie again then, yeah. Yeah. But different. For a different bird. Oh yeah. There we go. And now I think we've got one pocket left in this signature. I love this one. Make a wish. It is pretty. I love the fact that you've got that, that postmark kind of like thing across the middle. Again, everyone's got the, got places to write on the back. You've also got the little butterflies everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that's just one signature. Okay. Okay, so we'll go through the second one. Again, we have different sorts of cards. We have Always Laugh. And that's got a little butterfly on the back. I think they sit beautifully, as Mike says, in that shape. Yeah. But rather than just cutting a piece of card and punching a, a semicircle out of it, you've thought about the design and, and mirrored that design around it. Yes, I have. So... 
That's beautiful. Yeah, I love Collecting that memories, those butterflies are stunning. We've got the feathers from the butterfly. We've got feathers, the butterflies. butterflies. Plus you've got your floral elements towards the top as well. Cogs. Yeah, just glorious. Got, it's, the, it's the colours. The colours are all quite subdued, mm. but not washed out. No, they're not washed out, but they are They are kind of almost pastel-y. Yes, but, they but are. But not, if you know what I mean. Almost vintage-y, but not. But yes, yeah, it's... <laughs> Treading that line. Yeah, I think I think you've done it really, really well. Thank you. So we've got beautiful moments. We go through that. My mum loves butterflies. Yeah. Bless her. And I, I like the way like the circles kind of mirror. But you can use that to actually mirror that what's on the card. Yeah. You to, I mean, you can take them all out and put them back in in different places. If, you know, put them where you want. Yeah. But you know, I just think. Yeah. A record of the past. You could actually put photographs on the back on the backs of these. That would be nice, it. yeah. Rather than write on them, you could just stick a photograph on. Just love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A bit Barry White. It was too. a bit Barry White. <coughs> just, just, love. just love. Laughter is the key, obviously with the key on there. Yes. And again, beautiful colours from the butterflies matching up with the. Well, everything matches through. So you've got the greens. And the, the pinks and the reds, mm. everything sort of ties in together. Yeah, and I like the way you've done like the, the colour of the pink. A little pink round where the uh, the hole yeah, is. Your hole protector. The hole pro is that what they call the hole protector? Well, it's a reinforcer, but since it's, it's printed on. <laughs> yes. Trust your heart. Again, butterflies. That signature yeah, too. I like the way you've got the word love in there. Love. <laughs> love. Love. Um, yeah, Mr. Bentley's chewing on that, that rawhide stick like, with a vengeance this morning. Dreamer of dreams, almost like a dream catcher. Yes. That one's got a leather strap in it, butterflies and things in there. Go a bit further. And then we had a mad five minutes earlier, didn't we? We did. We were running around with this squeaky toy. Collecting memories. I've tried to keep everything a little bit different. We've got some some repeat that just smile, just laugh, but the the illustrations are different. I was going to say the butterflies are different. Yeah, they are. They? Yeah. Is every card different, or have you got some repeats? I think I may have some repeats, but mm. not many. Right. Create art. That's quite appropriate. Lovely. Nice. I don't think you've got the blue butterfly on that Adam there as well. Yeah. That goes nicely. It does. Just, there we go. Then we'll put that one into there. Collecting beautiful moments. Those were the feathers. The feathers work really well as like the, the steampunk dream catchers. Just laugh. Embrace your journey. Nice. Nice size tags as well. I've, got, I've, I've gone for a quite um, a transparent ribbon as well. I didn't want it to be too heavy. Organza. Is that what it's called, Organza? Think, yes. It's organza. Love life. And we'll come to the others. Create beautiful memories always. I like that one. Not just. I love the way they, they disappear. The little. Yeah. Well, the actual sayings disappear. So it's, yes. When you pull them out, it's like a little. A little surprise. And we'll pop. Like a fortune cookie. It is. <laughs> Quite appropriate. Make a wish. Yes. Say so the the pages are all have all been dried in the oven, so they're all. Well, that beautiful crinkle, be your best. I like that. So we'll have just care. Mm -hmm. As you said, the, the illustrations all match right the way through, but they're not too matchy matchy. They're not all prescriptively exactly the same. No, they all follow the same, the same um, theme and format. Um, but the difference, but they all still coordinate beautifully, and it's not overly fussy. Either. No, it's not. I mean, if you, if you want to put lace in it, you can do. Oh. On there. Let's put a little bit of glue on there. Must have missed, I must have missed that one when I glued it in. <laughs> that one's an in and out one. You'll have to remember that page. I will. I'll go through it and check it. Just enjoy it. I mean, I love these. Are they admirals? I used to call them admirals, but they're not. They're admirals. No, I don't, think, I don't think that's a red ad admiral. Lots of people say red admiral. Well, I always thought they were Red Admirals. No, it's Admiral. Being enchanted. Yeah, lovely. You've got the, the clocks. Clock on the clock. Yeah. Two clocks. Joy. 
collective collecting memories. Again, on the backs we have all the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And again, all the signatures are hand stitched by you, by me, into um, into a cloth backing which has been reinforced, hasn't it? Yes, it has. So, so there's, it's quite quite sturdy. sturdy. But you, you get the the idea that the, the it just feels beautiful and looks yeah the biz. It's a good word, it's the a biz. good phrase, isn't it? Looks the business. Looks the business. I've tried to different to do different styles of pages, as we said. Some of the checked grid paper, some of the plain paper. Go with your heart to light. It's a one. nice, it's a nice combination because it, it makes the the journal multi-use then, because you can use it for sketching, and you can use it for journaling, and you can use it for bullet journaling, you can use it for lists, birthdays, anniversaries. You could. You know, you could actually write your memories in there, or actually use it as a diary journal yes. if you wanted yes, to. Yes, you could indeed. And another 200 pages in there, individual size. So I just missed one pause there, I missed the pocket. Yeah. You know, but some people don't diary journal every day. No, they don't. You know, they might do two entries on one page. So. And there's there's also the two. Um, little cards to need to go into here. There's the Just Smile one that goes in the back. Mm -hmm. And in the front there is another little tiny long card and that's Just Care. So there you go. The reason they're not the big cards is you don't want a lot of bulk in the front. Not at the very front, no. But what we have got uh, to go in these, at the very beginning there's a little a little envelope. A little envelope. And inside that envelope. And inside the envelope. There are have, some little gems. <laughs> I have made some self adhesive domed acrylic. They're not glass, so they're not too big. Domed stickers. All you do is you peel the back off and you can stick them exactly where you want through the journal. And there are six little butterflies there. All completely different. We've got different cogs behind each one and different butterflies and they are about I think they're half inch. Inch and a half? No, they're an inch I think. Hold the ruler mic please. Thank you. They are an inch and a quarter, an inch and an eighth across, so they're quite a good size. Yeah, and you can create your own bits of ephemera to actually put in and customise yeah. if you want to. They're not too heavy as mm. I say. Just put your nail behind the back and they've got self adhesive coating and just pop them on the pages. A little bit of something extra. I mean, you don't have to put them in there. You could put them on a different book if you wanted to try and pull things together. Mm. But they are all... A little bit of an extra to go with the A little bit of an extra journals. to go in the journals. And they all sit with a little clip. And they sit just on... Oh, I'm off the page. <laughs> Sorry about that. And they just sit on there with a little clip like that at the top. Shall I bring the other one back in then? You would be so kind. There you go. So there you go. We have both the journals, little ribbon sticking out the top. Red, one's red and one's green. And again, these journals can be found if you want to purchase these, they're on. Ian's website, they are. and we'll put um, on the bottom of the screen now, that's Ian's website here, but also there's a clickable link in the description area below this video if you want to purchase either the red one or, or the, the green, green one. one. Next week's project, I think you'll like that. If you like this, you love next week's project. <laughs> I am creating a digi download set based on the pockets and the corners. <laughs> I think the postman might be here. Yeah, I think Mr. Bentley is making his presence <laughs> felt. Just see what he's done the digi download say next week is there are you'll get pockets, you'll get tuck spots, you'll get cards. But what I haven't done before and I'm doing this time is I'm gonna do some pages that you can download as well. So you can print out your own pages and make a journal yourselves based on the similar lines to these. So I say there'll be pages, both both US size and uh, UK European size. A4. So you'll have A4, <laughs> and you'll also have eight and a half by eleven. Eight and a half by eleven. Sorry, it was uh, 
Teddy and Cassie was back. Oh, he's back. His friends up the road. <laughs> the chows. They look like big lions. <laughs> so yeah. So next week there's a download available, and the project we'll do next week will be a clockwork garden mini book. Mini book. So that's all from us today. Excellent. So, so if you've enjoyed this, please remember to give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. Share the video with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel already. Please do so. Thank you. I was waiting for you to say why not. <laughs> and you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. I hope you enjoyed those. I've nice really, segment. really enjoyed making these. I have to say that I've had as much, I hope you've had as much fun watching this as I've had making them because I've had a blast. Good stuff. That's all from us for now. We'll see you all again very, very soon. Bye, Bye for now. now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.